everyone welcome back to my channel my name is justine i am finally back from vacation so i'm getting this video out to you guys this is all of my halloween decor throughout my house we're gonna be decorating just kind of picking up around the house it's not gonna be too much cleaning in this video i know i normally like to incorporate it but i will be cleaning the areas that i am putting decor it was just that i was still packing and getting ready for a trip over the weekend for a girl's trip when i filmed this and i needed to get it done and i just wanted to get out some simple kind of halloween decor in the house on the front porch a little bit and yes me and my kids we do decorate but they will end up helping me with the outside and probably just not on camera we're gonna do whatever they want to do they like to pick a theme and put it up for halloween every year and then we are also doing a halloween party so i might film later on if we do end up doing that but i did have to kind of rush through this decor to get it out before we left for the girls trip i did end up going to vegas so it was actually a lot of fun because our trip to florida got canceled because of hurricane ian and i do pray for everyone that is in the fort myers area that got affected by this horrific hurricane and i have always lived in North Carolina and South Carolina so I understand a little bit of what you're going through but I know how hard that is when a hurricane changes course and hits you unexpectedly I pray for every family out there who is searching or looking for a loved one my heart goes out to you guys but in today's video like I said we're just gonna be putting up some Halloween decor and really just making our house spice it up a little bit for Halloween without taking away from the fall decor and the simplicity simplicity and minimalist I like to decorate I have actually cut back on my decorating lately because I want to leave open space. I hate when a house looks cluttered. The only time that I go all out like crazily is Christmas because I have like three or four Christmas trees. But other than that, I like to leave a lot of space open because I get very anxious if my house is too cluttered if that makes sense even my kids toys can bother me after a while I've gotten better since having kids because you just kind of have to let it happen the way it happens okay so I got most of the decor out onto this table right now this is just what I have for Halloween for inside most of this is all inside stuff except for these pillowcases I will end up putting these out on the front porch and then I bought two more for the couch they just work out the best and if my kids spill stuff on them I can just throw them in the wash these things are like for my coffee bar. I got this last year and I'm so excited because I do plan to throw a Hocus Pocus themed party at the end of October for Halloween. We've never done that, so I'm excited for that. I got this light little Happy Halloween lantern that'll probably go on the front porch, but we will see. I like to take those hats and hang them up there. There's little hooks you can see. I got these pillows this year from Kohl's. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know if I want to put them on the couch or if I want to put them on the bench. We'll see. And then those can just go in a lantern. These are old, like, Halloween bins for trick-or-treating. And then this is really cute. You can put Hey Boo or Happy Halloween. It's really cute. And then little pumpkin lights that might go outside. It just depends. Yeah, I got all this cute stuff right here. Like I said, I only decorate for Halloween, like, in little bits. Everything else will be still be fall. And then I got this pumpkin to put outside. It like fogs up and gives like smoke outside. These were given to us last year. They're magnets. I might put them on the fridge for the kids because I think that's fun. And then this stuff is all outside. Like the doormat, the, I, the candy bowl. They're trick-or-treating <laughs> little like claw things for candy. The little bags. There's a dog skeleton. And then I think we actually had to throw away my actual skeleton, so I need to buy a new one. But you can see there's like bones in there and then a spider web and an actual big spider. But I don't know what we're going to do outside. I'm going to leave. I'm going to do a little bit of the outside, like just add like the normal decor. But then my kids and I will plan something for Halloween for the front. I don't know if it will be in this video. I don't know yet. I might just do the cutesy decor for the video and then later on show you guys what we did over on Instagram I don't know but we'll see but I'm just gonna quickly get through this we're just gonna be kind of decorating and cleaning in the spaces I need to clean it's just gonna be a short and simple sweet little video for Halloween people who like Halloween but 
yeah, let's get into this. So we are just going to jump into this video. And if you are new here, my channel is all about cleaning, decorating, organizing, DIY projects, and overall homemaking with a crazy busy schedule. I do work full time. My husband's military and I do have three small children. I was actually going to college, but I just graduated. So I'm finally done with that. So I can focus a little bit more on YouTube here. I do upload one to two times a week. And I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell, because I would just love to see you guys back here every time I do upload. Now let's just jump into decorating this home after I finally get all the laundry in. You are doing I just use whatever Mrs. Myers cleaner I had on hand. I have a ton of these, but this one was almost empty. So I'm just trying to get rid of it and use it all up. It is the orange clove scent. So it's not really fall related, but it does smell really good and it gives my house a good clean and it's non-toxic. So I just reached for it and cleaned up what I could with it. This tiered tray was so hard for me to decorate for some reason. I just could not get it right. So it did take me a while and that's the point of decorating. You have to move things around, see how you like them, decide what you like, decide what you don't like. If you don't use all your decor, that's okay. Um, I do like to donate the decor I don't use every year because I do like to minimize all of the stuff that I own. So if I don't use it after a few years, I do donate it. I just, I think it's pointless to sit it in a bin if I'm never going to use it, but I this tear tray and the one on my coffee bar really gave me problems, but I got it decorated and I'm okay with how it turned out. I like it. And for me, like I said in the very beginning of the video, all of my decor is minimalized into my fall stuff for Halloween. I don't go all out for Halloween. I don't make my whole house this really dark and mysterious place because I feel like I would get really agitated with all the clutter. So that's why I decorate this way. It just gives it little pops of fun and decorate decorations for the kids and just brightens your spirits for Halloween because I love Halloween Town. I love Hocus Pocus. I love all of the movies that come with the Disney old, you know, Disney old Halloween videos. I love those videos and movies, but yeah, we're just going to finish up decorating this. I'm trying to kind of cut back on the talking a little bit, but I do like to talk to y'all and get to know you every day. And also in the comments, I love hearing from you guys, but yeah, just let me know what you guys are doing. If you're even decorating for Halloween or you're just skipping right over the holiday, just let me know.
say That it's too late for us now Why do we stay? I'm tackling my front porch, but like I said in the very beginning of my video, that I'm actually only going to put out minimal decor on my front porch for now until my kids get home and we get more Halloween decor and we can decorate it as a family. We always pick a theme every year with the kids and go with that. My theme would be the Sanderson sisters with the whole Hocus Pocus 2 thing. Um, I don't know if many people have watched it yet, so I won't give any spoilers. I just watched it last night with my kids, and it was all right. I mean, the original was so much better, I feel. I feel like this one fits more in with the younger crowd than it would with me, but I do like it. It was a good movie, so if you haven't watched it yet, check it out, but the original is so much better, so I wanted to do the original Hocus Pocus theme on my front porch, but anyway... We're just finishing up the front porch, kind of moving through. Then we'll tackle my dining room, a little bit of my living room. And yeah, that'll be the end of today's video. When I blame you for the things that weigh me down. Cause in the echo of your silence, I only hear what's best for me. Yeah, in the echo of your silence, I'm thinking more of her. She this all up but I do need to get like something for Halloween right here or like a door you know kind of cover for it and then there's my little happy Halloween I just switched back and forth for fall and Halloween I had those pumpkins from Lowe's but the other one got moldy and I throw it away for my fall decor video and then this pumpkin actually has steam that comes out of it and this is like a little skeleton owl I didn't put the dog out yet because I don't know what we're doing with the kids yet I just wanted to do simple things I love pillowcases for the fact that they make everything more festive without spending a ton on new pillows every holiday. And then of course, this spider web across the front window to give it a little bit more Halloween-ish. <laughs> got a lot of this fall decor and for this tier tray from the dollar tree i got the skeleton it glows in the dark i got i believe the little ghost as well as the bats that i'm about to hang and they were just super cheap they do fall so i did have to use some tape on some of them but you can get the ones from amazon and i know they're more expensive but this just works for us it was cheap as a dollar oh six before the tax jump or whatever they raise their prices to now but yeah it's looking really good now
my younger son just turned three on the 26th of September and he got all of these toys for his birthday. So I was just picking them up and taking them upstairs to be put in their rooms just so they're not down in the living room because I find if I keep toys in the living room, my son dumps them and then it just keeps me overwhelmed and I'm always picking up after it and it just creates more of a mess. So I do like to put them upstairs and yes, they are allowed to bring their toys downstairs whenever they like. It's just I prefer to keep most of them upstairs unless they're actively playing with them just because it just gets so cluttered and so messy really quick and this is how I maintain my house with a busy schedule. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. I want to get so numb, want to get so numb while we enemies. No, you don't mind the way I said my words. Mm, you know exactly what it means and how it hurts. Oh, I can't believe you're here. Can't get any worse. No, no. I just want to get out of here. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew what power you have over me But now it's so hard to breathe mm -hmm. Just get me out of here We're not even going to talk about how crooked these look. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting it to look like that until I started editing this video. I did not realize, but I was in a hurry and I had to use tape instead of push pins this year. I could not find my push pins. And then I had friends that were coming up to stay with us because Hurricane Ian was hitting in Tampa where it was supposed to hit. And so they were evacuated and needed a place to stay. So I was rushing around trying to get this video done before they showed up. And of course, while I'm filming, they showed up. I think it is what it is, but I was in a rush and and I literally did not check to see if these were in a straight line. My apologies, but they are the Harry Potter Hogwarts like flags for each like area. You know what I'm talking about. My brain is not working today, <laughs> but I love the hats. I love putting them up every year. I definitely want to get some candles to put them in to make it more of like a magical kind of room. But yeah, I like how all of this decor is turning out so far. That will be the end of my Halloween decorate with me. I appreciate you guys sticking to the end. I know it was a shorter video, but I just wanted to add little pops of fun Halloween decor throughout the house, get us in the mood for Halloween. 
and just really like just festive it up in my house. I don't know if that's even a word, but it was fun and I love how it all turned out. I hope that you guys will hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell if you are new and continue to come back and watch all of my videos. I appreciate you guys so much for always watching, always supporting, and just your very kind words down in the comments section. Again, if you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. That's where I keep you guys most up to date on what I'm doing and just kind of the background information of my channel. And I hope to see you guys back in my next video.